Quantification of liver fat is a very important trending topic today in radiology. Many of our patients are well educated and they want to know that what is the amount of fat is there in my liver, what do I need to do about it and what how I need to come back for follow up. So we need to give them all the answers. As you can see here in this case, the liver definitely looks fatty in this patient, but I'm not too sure. So what do I do? I go back with this I9 machine and I compare it in a normal scenario. When I compare with the kidney, I'm not too sure. It is not very contrasting. Definitely, it is. it looks fatty, but I'm not too sure. My patient says, what do you feel, doctor? So what do I do next? I have another feature in my machine which tells me the HRI. So here, instead of visually comparing the liver with the kidney, I compare it with the tool which MindRay provides me which is called hepatorenal index. Here I put a square in the kidney and I put a square in the liver and it gives me a comparison and it also tells me that I'm accurate because it gives me a motion stability index of five stars. I know that my patient is not moving that is documented. I know that my reliability index is 100% so my patient is also satisfied and finally I get an objective value. So instead of telling the patient that your liver is white, it looks fatty, I now have an objective parameter which is 1.46. Anything about 1.28 is abnormal, so my patient is still more convinced that yes, she has fatty liver. To add on to it, what I have is I do another test which is called the USAT. Now, USAT tells me how the fat is disposed in the liver and what is the percentage of fat in the patient's liver, what is the gradation of liver fat and by that what I mean is that I select an area in the liver and then I press a button in the machine and when I press a button in the machine it gives me another screen there for the elastography measurement. So this screen is my reliability map this tells me and this is my USAT map the fat composition map. So what it tells me is that how the it gives me the attenuation because of fat which has happened. Mindry has another feature called stability index. So motion stability index here tells me yes my patient is not moving. It gives me a reliability index of 95%. It removes the area automatically from my field. These are the areas which are where there are vessels. So it has automatically removed my areas, the unnecessary areas and given me an area where I can accurately place my box and measurement. Here I put a box here and what I get is a mean value of my fat. So it tells me that it's a, my USAT mean is 0.81. That means my patient has moderate hepatic steatosis. So my patient gets an answer that she has fat, it has been confirmed. She knows that it is moderate fatty liver, so she is more convinced. And then I know that there is a chance in these cases that if I want, I can go for an elastography. If my patient doesn't want that, she can definitely come for a follow-up. And in the follow-up, this value is what the patient would like to know because what have I improved in over the years and over months, whatever she has improved. And then one more important thing is this whole color. This color would be blue in case this is a normal liver. When it is very high fatty liver, it is almost red. And this is yellow when it is moderate fatty liver. So this color also gives me one sight at the screen and it tells me that yes, this is moderate fatty liver. So this is an important information when a patient comes for a full abdomen, I can quantify the fatty liver, I can convincingly give the patient an answer about the amount of fatty liver, the grading and she goes back happy and satisfied.